All right, so I can divide decimals using models. That is our goal for today. And just a continuation of last week's lesson when we talked about division patterns. <laughs> dividing by 10, dividing by 100, dividing by 1,000 is the same as multiplying by 1 tenth, 100, and 1,000th, okay? All right, so let's talk about division of decimals using models. All right, so in your, in your math journal, <clears throat> Uh, on the bottom of page 37, where you just glued it in, there's a little blank space. Think about this, this question. As I know it says folder, ignore, ignore that. In your, in your journal, think about this question. Divide 1 and 23 hundredths into three equal groups. Okay? So here's my one whole and 23 hundredths, and I want to divide it into three equal groups. All right? So let's think about that for a second. I have a whole, and I've got 23 out of... How much? Out of a hundred, right? A whole is a hundred, okay? So it says draw a picture. So take on that page, draw yourself a picture. Now I use circles because they're easy for me, but you can certainly use, you could use um, squares or some other shape. So what's the easiest thing you see here that I can divide by three? Yes, sir? Um, the, um, the... Uh, one third, I mean the threes, the ones. What are they called? They're not ones. I mean, uh, Somebody one help him. Hundred. The hundreds, these three hundreds. I can divide them easily. So I'm, I'm going to use this shape for a hundred. So I divided those three hundreds. I'm done with those. Okay? But now what's wrong? Okay? Now I got, yes ma'am. So I see two tens. Can I divide two tens by three equally? I can't, right? But can I do something to this big 100 flat? Yes. What can I do to it? Um, so instead of doing one individual little square at a time, you can do one tenth. Let's break it into tenth. So what should I do? I'm going to take and cross this out, and I'm going to trade this 100 in, in for what? Ten tens. Ten tens. Now watch how I do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now how many tenths do I have? Twelve. Twelve tenths. Can I divide 12 tenths evenly by three groups? Yes. Absolutely. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Now, how much is in each group? Four. No. 41. 41. What do I call it? Hundreds. 41 hundredths. Does that make sense? Yeah, pretty easy, right? Yeah. It's kind of a, an activity where you get to use your, your mind a little bit and break things apart, right? I kind of like that trick, all right? Okay, so now, <clears throat> let's practice this again. Let's practice one more time. And that's essentially what we're doing. That, for the lesson, that's it, guys. That's, it doesn't get any easier than that. I can't explain it any simpler than this. We're just breaking these into little pieces to divide into groups, equally, equal groups, all right? Um, by the way, what key action was this? Anybody know? <coughs> Anybody know what key action it was? Layla? Um, wasn't it separate into equal sets? Close. Uh, Nam? Share set equally. It was share a set equally. I took this set... And I shared it equally into these equal groups. Remember, share a set equally. I know the number of groups, but I don't know how many in each group, right? Okay, so look at this problem now. Here we go again. I've got 1 and 8 tenths divided by 3. Now, look at that picture for a second. Look at this picture. I can take these 8 tenths, and I can put 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. They won't go evenly, evenly will they? But what can I do to this 100 here? Yes, sir. You can, like, split up. Into what? Into tenths. Okay, so if I did that, how many tenths will I have, guys? Eighteen tenths. Can I divide eighteen equally by three? Yes. yes. What is eighteen equally divided by three? Six. Six. So, if I take and I break this into ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten... One, two, three, four, five, six. There's that group. 
one, two, three, four, five, six. There's this group. And one, two, three, four, five, six. There's that group. So how many will be in each group? Six. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. That makes sense? Yeah, I like that, right? Is there anything difficult about this? No. So far, does anybody have any questions about how we're breaking our decimals up? Okay? All right, let's try this one. <clears throat> so on page 36, on the note side, on the note side over here, let's do this part. 2 and 12 hundredths divided by 4. 2 and 12 hundredths divided by 4. <clears throat> Is there anything I can break up into 4 without changing anything right now? No, there isn't, right? Hundred, only have two hundred, that won't work. I got one tenth, that won't work. I've got two holes, that won't work. So what am I going to trade first? What can I do first? Yes, Ann. Let's change these two hundreds into twenty tens. Okay. So now I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's that one. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, there's that one. All right, now I've got 10, 20, 21 tens. Can I divide 21 tens evenly by 4? No, I can't. So what can I do? Layla. You can break up the, that 110. And what am I going to break that 110 into? Um, 100. Okay, how many hundreds? Well, we're going to break it up into 10. 10, yeah. So 1, 2, 3, 4, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now I got twelve hundred. Can I divide twelve hundred by four? Yes. How many each group? Three. Three. So now my hundreds are done. One, two, three. So the hundreds are done. Now what's left? Anyone? What's left? All the hundreds are taken care of. So what's left? 10 and 10 make 20 tens. Can I divide 20 tens by four groups? Yes. How many each group? Five. Five. So. One, two, three, four, five. 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 So how many are in each group? Fifty-three. Fifty-three what? Hundreds is my answer. So fifty-three hundreds is my answer. I like those. Okay. Any questions on that so far? You sure? Okay, let's try another one. <clears throat> Think about this one for a second. We can also use area models to represent division. Shade the area model below and circle groups to show 2 and 4 tenths divided by 4. Okay? So I've got 2 whole and 4 tenths. So 1, 2, 3, 4. And this whole thing would be shaded, right? Two whole. It's a lot of shading going on here. Now what am I going to circle groups of? Four. Okay? Circle groups of four, right? So how many total do I have? This is ten, this is ten, this is four. So that's how many total? 24. So I want to circle groups of four. So one, two, three, four. That's one group of four. Very hard for me to see this. One, two, three, four. That's another group of four. One, two, three, four. That's another group of four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Good. So how many groups did I circle? Six. Six. But six what? 
What would it be? Tenths. Tenths. Okay, six tenths. Make sense? Yes. Yeah. Pretty simple, right? Going back to our second grade days of pictures. Okay? All right, so using base 10 blocks, we'll solve um, these problems, but we're not going to use um, a part we're going to do it together. And we'll think about um, what this would look like. We're going to do quick sketches, okay? I'm going to show you a quick sketch to do this problem, all right? So, 100, 1 and 6400 is divided by 2. So, on your paper somewhere on the left side of the notes again, one hole, this is one hole, 6 tenths, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 4 hundredths. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. That is my quick sketch. Okay, did everybody see that? That's my quick sketch, right? What am I breaking it into? Two equal groups. So one, two equal groups. Okay? <clears throat> Do you see anything that I can divide into two equal groups so far? One, two, three, four, five, six, sixty-four. Could I break up this one, two, three, four, five, six in two equal groups? Yes. How many each group? Two. I mean three. Three. One, two, three, one, two, three. How about these two, these four one hundreds? Yes. How many each group? Two. One, two, one, two. Now I'm done with that. I'm done with this. What's left? Can I put one hundred in two groups? No. What do you gotta do to it? Chop it in half. Chop it into half. So how many would be in each piece? Five. Five what? Ten. Ten. Five tenths. Very good. So uh, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. How many are in each group? <coughs> 80, good job, 8200. So my answer is 8200. Okay? So far, so good? Okay? So on your, in your journal, in your journal, I would like you to do 2 and 5 tenths divided by 5, real quick. Okay? Draw, do the same thing I just did, make a picture, 2 whole, 1. Two whole and five hundredths. One, two, three, four, five hundredths. Divided by one, two, three, four, five. Again, it should be done on the note side. Can anyone tell me where I should start? What should I divide first? What can I divide evenly among five groups first? Your thoughts? On the five tenths. The five hundredths. I, put, I can put how many in each group? Uh, one. One in each group. Okay, done with that. What's left? The hundreds. I mean the flats. The holes, right? I got two holes. Can I divide two holes by five groups? Uh, but what can I do with those two holes? Break them into what? Ten. So how many tens would I have? Twenty. Twenty tens. And divide twenty by five. By five and get how many? Four. Four in each. So one, two, three, four. 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 How many do I have in each circle? Forty-one. Very good. Forty-one hundreds. Okay. 
All right, let's do the last one. One and 6800 <laughs> divided by three. So I'll draw my three circles. One, two, three. Now I'll make one hole. And one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Divide that by three. Okay. First thing I should do is what? The hundreds? Separate the hundreds? Can I divide eight by three? No. no, I can't do that. What would be a good place to start? Let's start with the biggest piece. Let's take the flat and make it into, into two, three, ten. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now I've got ten plus six gives me sixteen. sixteen. How many can I put evenly into those three if I do it evenly? If they each get five, how many is left? One. one. So I'll put five in each one. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Now, this ten is gone, and all of these are gone. So I've got how much left? Eight. Eighteen. Eighteen. Or that's one flat, one rod, that's ten. And that's, let's trade this for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now I've got eighteen hundredths. What is 18 divided by 3? 6. 6. So each one will get 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. How many in each circle? <coughs> 56. 56 hundreds. Good job. Piece of cake, right? Yes. Okay? Just got to be careful about how you trade. I always, I don't always. I would show, I would tell you I would I would caution you always start with the biggest unit, break it up, and divide those first, and then work your way down. It might be easier. Okay. All right. Um, so let's look at the algorithm real fast. So on that notes page, again the notes side, I want you to look at these three easy steps. I want you to tell me something. What do you notice? If I look at those three easy steps, what do you notice between division of decimals? And division of whole numbers. Do you notice anything? Yes, ma'am. It looks exactly the same, doesn't it? Look at this picture over here. Look at this picture over here. Five does not go into two, but five goes into twenty-three four times. Five times four is twenty. Subtract twenty-three minus twenty gives me three. Bring down the five. Start all over. Five goes into thirty-five seven times. Doesn't that sound familiar? Yes. yes. It's exactly the same. What is the only difference? What's the one thing that's different in decimals? Yes, ma'am. That's it, guys. You all. The only thing that's different is you have to move that decimal right above where it stands. That's the only difference. You're literally just taking the dot and putting it on top. Hey, that rhymes. Take the dot, put it on top. It's really a decimal, not a dot. Okay. Step one: rewrite the problem. Look what I did. I took the number. It's in. A horizontal form and I rewrote it with the umbrella the division umbrella okay remember my divisor is out here dividing by five move the decimal straight up into the quotient and then divide like normal, normal. that is all there is to it there's nothing different about it okay in fact tomorrow I'm not even going to do single digit dividends or single digit divisors because we've already done that I'm gonna go straight to double digit divisors all right so let's look at this problem Okay, so there should be a whiteboard in your desk. Everybody get a whiteboard and a dry erase marker. Huh? Yeah, they're under the they're under the caddies. Everybody get a whiteboard. Oh, you need another whiteboard. If you have your own dry erase marker, you're welcome to use your own dry erase marker. Okay? So let's start with this problem right here. Do not use permanent marker, whatever you do. Make sure it's a dry erase marker, not a permanent marker. Alright, so we're going to start with 12 and 18 hundredths divided by 6. So first step is what? Rewrite it. So on your whiteboard, I want you to rewrite it with the with the division umbrella. Okay, rewrite with the division umbrella over it. 
That means we write it like this. 6 divided into 12 and 18 hundredths. Okay? Step 2 is what? Raise the dot up. Okay? And then step 3? Divide like normal. So where would I start? 6 goes into 1? 0 times. 6 goes into 12? Two. Now notice, where did I put that 2? Right above that 2, and it's right before that decimal. Don't get confused. Next step? Subtract. 6 times 2 is 12. Next step is to subtract. subtract. 12 minus 12? Zero. 0. Okay, check. Is 0 less than 6? Yes. Bring down the? One. Oh, I see a problem. Do you see a problem? Uh, yeah. Yes. Rewrite my divisor. 6 goes into 1? 0 times. 0 times. Six times zero? Zero. zero. Subtract one. Is one less than six? Yes. Yes. Bring down the eight. None of this is new. Six goes into eighteen? Three times. Six times three? Eighteen. Eighteen. Subtract. Zero. Anything left? No. So what's my answer? Two and three hundred. All right. Anything unique about this? No. So in my notes, in my focus notes, I might say in the note side, nothing different about division of decimals except raising the decimal up. So in matter of fact, in your notes on the question side over here, or on the note side, you might want to write these three quick steps. Rewrite the problem, move the decimal straight up into the quotient, and divide like normal because that's all we're really doing, right? We're not doing anything different with division. We just had that one little bitty extra step of moving the decimal up so that we know where the decimal goes. Okay? Just so we know where the decimal goes. Okay? Rewrite the problem, move the decimal straight up to the top, and then divide like normal. <coughs> okay? Alright, so let's do one more practice problem together. Raise your board. Yes, sir. Uh, here's, I actually noticed something. The two um, multiplying decimals and dividing decimals are basically the, they, they basically use the same steps. It's just different. There's no, there's no difference. Yeah. All right. So let's write this problem. Here's a big one. 16 and 365,000 divided by 5. Okay? It's been rewritten for us. Take the decimal straight up to the top. And now let's do what? Divide, Divide like normal. normal. Where do I start? Five, five. five goes into one. Zero times. Five goes into 16. Three, three times. What is five times three? Fifteen. Fifteen. Subtract. Bring down the three. Rewrite my divisor. Now what? Uh, five, five goes into 13? Two, two, two times. Five times two? Ten. Ten. Subtract. Three. Bring down the? Six. Six. Rewrite my? Divide. Divisor. Five goes into 36? Seven, Seven times. times. 5 times 7 is 35. Subtract. Bring down my. Rewrite the. Divisor. Whew, big breath here. 5 goes to 15. 3 times. 5 times 3. 15. Subtract. Anything else to bring down? So my answer is. 3 and 273,000. Okay? Was that different than any other division problem we've ever done? No. It is exactly the same. Which would you rather do? The algorithm or the model? Everybody would like to do the algorithm. Okay? The state? Model. Model. Algorithm. The state just tells me that I have to show you the model. You have to understand what it means to divide. And we all know we've all done pictures and from second grade on. Okay? Alright, now look at this one. Erase your board for a second and look at this one. 
What do you notice different about this one? What do you notice different about this one? There's less value. Okay, the what I'm dividing is smaller. Yes, ma'am. Five is greater than one. Five is greater than one. Okay, that's well. That, in the last problem, five was greater than one. Five is greater than the whole thing. Of this one, fit five was not, was not greater than that. Very good. But this time, five is bigger than the whole thing. So I know that my quotient is going to be less than one whole. One whole, right? Well, watch this. You watch me. Put your pencil down and watch how I divide this in first second. First thing, I raise my decimal. Zero, three, fifteen, zero. Bring down the three. Five goes into three, zero times. Nothing else to bring down. So what does that tell me? Is my remainder going to be three? Can I have the remainder? No. Yes. No. Okay. You cannot have the remainder. All right. A decimal division of decimal has to either terminate. That means it divides evenly like this one does, or it repeats which means it keeps on going on forever. So what can I do in this instance to find out to make this decimal terminate? What did I tell you? What is one thing I can add to decimals that never changes the value? Zero. Zero. So if I want, if I add a zero to this decimal, does it change the value of what I'm dividing? Does not, but it allows me to keep dividing. So now I can bring down that zero and keep dividing. Five goes into 30, six times. Five times six, 30. Did my decimal terminate? Yeah, it ended, didn't it? It ended, okay? And I didn't have, I did not have any remainder. So that means the decimal terminated, it ended, okay? It won't always do that. Sometimes it's going to repeat, and I'll keep on adding zeros, and I'll keep getting the same subtraction, the, the same difference. I'll, it'll, it'll keep going, uh, and that's called a repeating decimal, and that's okay. When that happens, I will tell you, you can repeat it up to two times, but we'll get to that, all right? So look at this one. On your whiteboard, let's work this one out. Let's try this one. Work it out on your whiteboard. Rewrite it. Oh, it's rewritten for you. Next step. Raise the desk dot to the top. Now divide like normal. normal. You go ahead and do that. I'll give you a couple minutes to do that. Did I, anybody get eight and one tenth remainder four? Or remainder six? No. no. Yes. Can I have remainder? No. Nope. So what do I need to do? Add, add, a add a zero. And bring that zero down. And then eight goes into sixty. Uh, seven. seven times gives me fifty six. Fifty six. Remainder. Four. Or four left over. Can I have remainder? Nope. So what should I do? Add another. Add another zero. Eight goes into forty. Five times. Five times. Eight times five 40. is forty. Did my did my decimal terminate? Yes. Yeah. My answer is eight and one hundred seventy-five thousandths. Okay. All right. Everybody good with that? Okay. So let's try some practice problems. All right. On your whiteboard. 
I would like everyone to take letter A and rewrite it, but we're going to do it with a model. Okay, letter A, 56 and 8 tenths divided by 4 with a model. All right, and we'll practice these four problems until it's time to go. We're going to do the model first, and then we're going to go back and use the algorithm and check it. All right, so go ahead and make that 56 and 8 tenths divided by 4. Start with making four groups or whatever shape you want to draw, circle, square. Let's start with that, okay? All right, good luck with that.